Welcome to the Digital Production Buzz at the 2015 NAB Show. Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this interview was recorded live on the trade show floor. For more information, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. New tech has revolutionized the way that television gets produced from small productions up to network, even international productions. And the chief relationship officer for New Tech, which has got to be the most killer title I've run into in the last couple of weeks, the chief relationship officer for New Tech is Philip Nelson. Philip, welcome back. Good Thanks for us. having me. Pleasure it's to be back. Pleasure. What does a relationship officer do that you can talk about in public? You know, it's... I've been at New Tech since almost the dawn of time. But we, you know, I've been there 17 years now. Is it that old it, a company? Well, actually, New Tech's almost, um, it was started in 1985. Wasn't it t- t- toast, toast? Yeah, in 1985, they developed a product called the DigiView, which was one of the first times you could get a, a 4096 color image into a, a computer on a consumer level. And then we invented the video toaster in the early 90s, won a primetime Emmy. And then in 2005, revolutionized the internet television. Re- we, we kicked off the internet television revolution with the TriCaster. It's just, every time I turn, and, and made a household name of Kiki, by the way. Oh, yeah. So anyway, the, the whole goal of New Tech, I think, was to take what was a really cumbersome process and make it a whole lot simpler. Yeah. But what do you view as your vision? Well, well in what? 1985, I think it was in 85, Tim Jennison was quoted. He's our founder and the visionary. He said, in the next 20 years, your favorite TV show will be made by you or someone you know. And to put that into perspective, in 1985, there wasn't a consumer internet. You did not make TV on a computer. You know, no one knew what streaming was even was. I mean, you didn't even have HTTP really available. You were telnetting. So, you know, with that quote, and that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to democratize television. He wanted to put the power in the hands of the creatives, the people with the big ideas, not necessarily the people with the deep pockets. May the best man win. (laughs) Uh, We're going to have... There's an interesting contrast coming here. We're going to have you on now, and in a few minutes we're going to have Ronnie Seabach from One Beyond. Oh, cool. And there's, I think there's a sea change going on, and I want to get your reaction to whether you agree with it or not. In the past, we would have traditional broadcast with switchers and racks of equipment, mm-hmm. and that's how television was produced, and perfectly okay would it yeah. produce video. Then you came along with New Tech, which is an entirely different way of integrating all of these different elements to make it much more affordable and much more portable. Then Telestream and companies like One Beyond come along with Wirecast, which makes what Telestream, what uh, New Tech does, it seems to make it even more portable. It's like we're in generations of change. Would you agree or disagree with that concept? It's different. You know, there's, uh, you know, most of our compet, we are a hardware and software solution. <clears throat> our focus is professional broadcasters. You know, our clients, our clients are producing a quarter million hours of video a month. <sighs> quarter million hours. Um, NBA, NFL, Miss Universe, MTV, you know, and what, what we try to do with the TriCaster, and one of the reasons we do need hardware to do it, is, you know, we wanted to bring a network TV look that was stable, easy to use, affordable, and very portable, all into a single solution. And we wanted to get make it powerful enough that all those high-end tier ones are using it, even when they have the deep pockets. You know, so the NBA and those guys, they can afford whatever they want, but they choose TriCaster. But we wanted it to be affordable enough that fifth graders here in Las Vegas can have it for their school and do a daily newscast. So that's, and and what's cool is they're learning on the same technology that's being deployed at the NBA All-Star Game or the MTV Movie Awards or wherever. So it is, it is a sea change in the world because the power is now in the hands of the idea people. You know, and, and the technology is there so that it can look like network television. And it's easy enough to learn that fifth graders can do it. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's a pretty exciting time. Yeah, oh, it's an amazing time. It changes on an hourly basis, which gets me to what have you guys got that's new? Well, we've got a couple things here at NAB. Um, we've announced a new um, offering for the TriCaster line. It is, it's called the TriCaster Advanced Edition, so it's an add-on. It's, it adds 60 additional features to any TriCaster 
um, the, the modern versions of TriCaster, including in augmented reality. So, like, I could have my graphics floating in space, and as I <laughs> as I pan the camera in the virtual set, yeah. the the graphics kind of parallax. With, so it's like you can tell they're floating in the room. We've got Dante Audio support. We have um, a, a new streaming engine in the TriCaster, which allows you to stream to multiple points, um, which is great if you're going like to Akamai and you need a primary and a secondary publishing point. Um, it's got a lot of it's got a, a lot of really cool features. We've got tally support through Ethernet now. Um, it's got editing. It's got enhanced slow motion capabilities um, in the TriCaster, so that I can be recording things, dropping clips into the DDR in real time, and then go back and do a slow motion instant replay right out of the TriCaster. Mm. But there's a, too many features to just list the bullets, but it's pretty powerful. It retails for like fourteen ninety five as an add-on to any of the modern TriCaster line. Where's the comma? Fourteen ninety five, fourteen hundred. Yes. Okay, just making sure. Good question. Very good question. <laughs> Thinking about the fifth grader in Las Vegas, schools don't have a ton of money to spend. What's right. an entry point for a, a new tech? Well, the, the, the TriCaster Mini, which we announced um, and is, has been shipping for a, a few months now, is uh, around five grand, turnkey. You know, so that's the thing. When you deal with a software solution, you still have to buy a computer. You still have to make it work. You have to have I.O. You have to have all these things. And, you know, we design it so that the TriCaster is a plug-and-play, turnkey, set it up, drop it on the table, plug in your cameras, plug in your mics, plug in your Internet, hit stream. <laughs> and, and, and so it, it takes a lot of the fear out of, in education, teachers are just so overworked. They need that solution to just be plug and play so that they can focus on teaching video, teaching communication through multi-camera video instead of configuration. You know, and another thing that we've announced here, and this is really cool at NAB, is the three play mini. So it's the most portable instant replay system on the planet. It fits in a backpack. It's about this big. <laughs> and instant replay has historically been very expensive. I and mean, when you look at certain systems are a quarter of a million bucks just for a multi-channel instant replay system, the three-play mini retails for under 10 grand. Wow. So it's a four-channel instant replay system with the power of, of you know, the, the higher-end systems, and it's very portable. The last thing um, that we have here, and this is a huge uh, um, product, it's called Talk Show. Which I love a lot. We bought it. We bought model number two. Microsoft bought are, are model serious? number one. We've been broadcasting talk show for the last three months. Wow. You and I have to have a conversation about it, but it is a killer product, and I love it a lot. We use it on our weekly show. Where can people go on the web to learn more? Um, www.newtech.com. That's newtech.com. Philip Nelson, Chief Relationship Officer with Newtech. Philip, thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Take care.